Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the Ballad of Gay Tony. And it starts with a girl spraying uh, champagne in a very suggestive manner. And a guy with money, obviously, here. And maybe Gay Tony? I actually don't know who Gay Tony is. Um, apparently, this is one of the best DLCs uh, ever put out for Grand Theft Auto 4, I guess. Uh, which interests me. I, I, I do like the Grand Theft Auto series. One thing I will say to start off this video, don't you guys love it when technology randomly stops working? I will say that for years I have had all of my consoles connected and interconnected through various video switches and HDMI splitters, and I have three Elgatos to capture all the different game consoles I have set up. And I don't know what the heck happened, but it all broke down when I tried to record uh, over Xbox here. And so I've decided to hell with it. I mean, I play I play so many more games on emulators now than I ever used to. You know, like Wii games and stuff. I'm doing a lot more on emulators nowadays. Um, so I don't use the original hardware as much. Uh, but I think what I've decided to do is go very low tech. So right now, my entire wall of consoles, I've pulled the bookshelf out and everything is like unplugged. Wires are everywhere. I just managed to manually plug in the 360 so we could actually make a video here today. But uh, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to redo all of this and I'm getting rid of all the HDMI switches, all the USB splitters. I just, they're just too confusing and too complicated. I'm just going to have wires dangling off my bookshelf. And whenever I want to play an Xbox game, I'll grab the wire that I've labeled Xbox and I will plug it into my Elgato. Whenever I want to play Nintendo 64, I'll grab the N64 cable and I'll plug it in. So I have all these dangling cables. Each one just ready to plug in and record, and then only need one Elgato. Simplify, guys. Simplify. Because, yeah, I don't mind when technology doesn't work, but when it has been working for almost a decade, and then it just stops working, and you get random bugs and things don't work, that's when I get frustrated. So, anyway. Um, our troubles are nothing like the troubles that Gay Tony is finding himself in. I think he was in a bank shootout there. Actually, the volume turned down. I should turn this up a bit so I can actually hear what's going on. Um, Yo, what's up? But uh, hey, cops hey, are hey, after hey, him, hey, and various other things are happening. Oh, we got the saxophone. <laughs> so I'm, I'm interested to try this Gay Tony add-on because um, one of my favorite Grand Theft Autos of all time was Vice City because it had that 80s theme to it. And all the other Grand Theft Autos have been like good. I, I really didn't keep up with them after three though, um, but there was like four and five and people like love them. But they're so hyper realistic and that's fine, but I feel like three kind of gave me my full of that. And so Vice City was cool in that it was different. This one I'm hoping will have some like unique style and stuff to it. Uh, like, already there's this video game thing in the background. Are you guys noticing this? It's like a theater arcade. There's also some hot girls who are walking by. My guy's gay, though, so he doesn't care about that. But, I mean, I'm not, so I kind of do. Uh, so, anyway, hopefully there's some cool style in this one. Oh, my God, I thought she was in a bath towel. Um, all right, so let's go. I, I, You know what? Actually, I'm thinking this is not gay Tony. He was kind of checking some of those girls out, so maybe gay Tony is, like, the guy you work for or something. But anyway, oh yeah, okay, so get in Tony's car. <laughs> Is it? Did I do it? Okay, I gotta figure out the buttons here. Uh, okay, I think I got it. There we go. Drive Tony to Hercules. Alright. This cop is not gonna suspect a thing. Running a red, driving between the lanes. Totally legit legal in Vice City. The cops are like, we got so many other things to worry about. We're not gonna worry about that. Whoa! And hold on, Tony. Taking a shortcut here, buddy. Whoa! Whoa! It's gonna take me a while to remember how to drive here. Jeez, this car has some good drift. Oh. Wanted me to go over this way. Excuse me! Oh god, right into the bus shelter. Whoa! You know what I kind of miss is riding the bus. When I was in university, um, I, I lived in Toronto, like, sort of Scarborough. That's where I went to uh, university. University of Toronto, Scarborough. And, um, 
sort of out in the burbs there, you know, there weren't subways and stuff, so everyone just took the bus places. Um, and I remember taking the bus to and from school, the 38 Highland Creek, I think it was, bus. And, uh, it was, I don't know, it, it, there was something comforting about it. I mean, like, I don't think the bus is, like, super pleasant or fun necessarily. But, like, you get in the bus, you go, you find a seat at the back, and, like, you just look out the window and zone out and drive through the city. And, I don't know, there's something kind of nice about the bus. I've always kind of liked the subway, too, but the subway, there's less to look at, because it's just, like, tunnels, right? But uh, going actually being on a bus is, like, I don't know. I would legitimately, like, some of my classes were really late when I went to university, so they go, like, 7 till 10 p.m. And, like, uh, literally when you're going home at, like, 10.30 or whatever, it's not super late for an undergrad, but uh, when you're just on a bus that's sort of, you know, rocking and coming to casual stops and stuff like that, it kind of, like, rocks you to sleep like a baby. And sometimes I would pass out in the back of the bus. Um... But, uh, yeah, Toronto's a really good uh, transit system, all things considered. I know people have complaints and stuff about it, and, uh, you know, in recent times, they've kind of jacked prices up and stuff, but all of that said, it is uh, relatively safe and secure, and, and if you ever visit Toronto, don't be afraid of the TTC. It is safe, secure, you can hop on it, you're good. We'll take care of you here. We know how to take care of people. Um, anyway, so I guess we are in a nightclub now. <laughs> the Zebra Lounge or something. The White Stripes. Alright, everyone's dancing. Chillaxing. You can try to impress ladies with dancing. If you dance successfully with a lady, you may get a surprise. <laughs> Interesting. You can get some shots at the bar. You might try that. Anything else? Or you can go upstairs to the VIP area and take part in a drinking game. Jeez. You know what's funny? Do you guys remember the hot coffee incident when the developers of Rockstar got in trouble because they included a sex game in one of the earlier Grand Theft Autos? And here we are, grinding with girls in the club, playing drinking games and doing shots. Okay, Y for instructions. Fill your dance meter, press Y for more instructions. An indicated perform a, oh, a, a move, okay. So we're holding a thing. Okay, and now what? It's A to start dancing. Oh, we gotta do left trigger, right trigger. Okay, hold on, let's do this. Let's just do it. Oops. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? I don't 100% understand. Okay, I'm gonna, like, move the stick around, I guess. Hold. What's happening? Move the stick around. Am I seducing you? Don't watch the eyes, watch the moves. I'm holding. Don't even know if I'm holding the right thing. Okay, hold on. I'm like, I don't know, baby. I don't know what's going on. Okay, hold on. Left bumper. Okay, we really need to follow the instructions here. Play your dance beater by moving the L stick or the R stick in time to the music. Move it in what direction, though? When indicated, perform a hold move by holding... L or R one direction. Keep it held for the duration to increase your dance meter. During a hold, press left trigger, right trigger to boost your dance meter. This is like so subtle. Fill your dance meter without any mistakes. You will take part in a special group dance sequence. Okay. Oh, I gotta do the thing in time with the music. I'm holding it. I don't know if it's doing anything.
This is like so hard. It's not even fun. <laughs> Alright, this sucks. Well, whatever, I don't know. I'm sure it's complicated and interesting. I'm getting flashbacks to, uh, Space Channel 5, that rhythm game that I just literally couldn't figure out. Press down to skip through the conversation or B to hang up. Okay. I'm supposed to go help somebody. Might get run. Let me move faster. I know it's like supposed to like simulate like actually walking around the world, but where is the drinking games? Okay. I think I just pushed a couple girls on the stairs. All right, whatever. This club sucks. Oh wait. I guess the guy I'm supposed to help is in the club. Maybe it was that couple that was fighting in the hallway. But I kind of walked past and ignored. Yeah, somebody up here. Uh, in here? Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, well, interesting. I mean, I like that they had, like, the drinking games, the dancing games and stuff. They're just well beyond me. Half the people in St. Louis is their boy. The girls all say they're fucking him. I don't care if you're his damn mother. You ain't coming in. Not in them clothes. Not with that attitude. Enjoy looking for a job in this economic climate, motherfucker! Yeah! Yo, what the fuck, eh? Tell this clipboard and earpiece motherfucker to back up, pal. Back up! Yo, what's the problem, D? You asking me? Yo, relax. Go inside, I got it. Yeah, go relax. Go inside, eh? Oh, no, Let's beat these relax. guys up. Guys, ah. shut up, okay? Jeez. Wow. Downtown's really changed you, man. You too good to take money from me and Enrique now? You know it ain't even like that, bro. Okay, you don't pay for shit in here. Okay, you just can't be looking like you came from selling dope on the corner. You say that like it's a bad thing. Tony, what do you think? <laughs> Desi wouldn't let me address like that, huh? You see what I mean? Come to think of it, Lou, what the fuck are you wearing, huh? What? Go home and take a bath. <laughs> do nothing else. Put on some clothes, huh? Yeah, I had a complicated day, okay? All right, so take some time off. The girls in there could use a night off, too. Who you there? Tony treats his employees right. Whoever Tony is. What you got there? Stuck a fucking fag. Mike, come on. Hey. I feel like these guys are asking to get murdered. You don't talk to a mob boss like oh, that, oh, man. You gonna take us back to the heist or what? Get in Tony's car. Take your friends back to Northwood. Oh, this is a great song. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of Kingpin with Woody Harrelson, Bill Murray, uh, Randy Quaid? Is it Randy Quaid? Who's in it? I think so. Uncle Eddie from uh, uh, Christmas Vacation. The guy who went nuts and uh, posted all those like schizophrenic rants on social media. I think we screwed up that car that we crashed into there. Crash. See what I, mean now? I do appreciate how in the Grand Theft Auto games they have conversations while you have to drive somewhere, so there's at least something fun to like. Oh God! Focus on while you're getting some exposition. Oh man. Them Ivy League motherfuckers can't find work. What you think we can to do? All right, here we go. Turn. Oh yeah. Drift, Tokyo Drift didn't quite work out. Come on board with us. We can start selling our old product. Your connections, man. We'll have the whole city on our gear. I feel like these friends of mine are scumbags, frankly. I'm not really paying attention to what they're saying, they just sound like scumbags. Whoa. What's the best thing that happened to you, L? What the fuck are you talking about, man? Before you went in there, you was a This car is getting really messed up. Hope my boss doesn't mind, man. Now, the challenge with Grand Theft Auto games is always how much of them do we see? Um, you know, in our little thousand and one quest here, uh, you know, an, an hour, maybe two, real, if we really want to push it, but probably not for this one here today, because I don't have that kind of time. But like an hour or so of playing around with the game, it's hard to really get a sense of it. But I mean, like, here's the thing with the Grand Theft Auto games, they're all good. They're, they're all good, you know? And there's like 10 of them. 
I mean, there's Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, uh, stories from Vice City, Grand Theft Auto 4, Ballad of Gay Tony. You know, it's like there's all these spin-offs and remixes and add-ons. There's so many out there. So I, I, here's my opinion of the Ballad of Gay Tony without even playing it. It's a Grand Theft Auto game, first of all. So it's like if you like Grand Theft Auto games, you'll like it. And it's good because all the Grand Theft Auto games are good. They're all good. You know, the book The book likes to do this. It likes to include... You know, the book is like, hey, I like Grand Theft Auto games. Let's include seven of them. Hey, I like Street Fighter games. Let's include eight of them. Hey, I like uh, Guitar Hero. Let's include nine of them. You know, the book likes to include tons and tons and tons of games from the same franchise. And... I get it if you're making a thousand one list, like, oh, you know, like many Grand Theft Autos probably belong on that list. But then if you think about it, like, I mean, we're probably the only one stupid enough. I, I say we, it's really me, uh, who's actually playing through all thousand one games. But if you actually sit down and play through all the games the book recommends, there's quite a bit of repetition and overlap. And we've talked about this before. I think we can all agree that removing some of these sequels and spinoffs and putting other classic games that got omitted from the list is probably how we would all fix the list. Um, but it doesn't change the fact that, you know, like when you're actually playing through the book you know if this is like this is like our i don't know how many grand theft auto games we've played at this point but let's say four or five um at a certain point you're like yeah it's grand theft auto we've seen it we've played it it's good they get better with each iteration more complex more sophisticated i don't know what you want me to say book but <laughs> but this is it you know anyway it took us six minutes to complete that Press LB to watch the TV. Watch the TV, man. Rap music and whatnot! What the heck is this? Networking on me, boy! Uh, Commander, I, I read... <laughs> it's like a cartoon for Halo in space? LB, you better not have yourself a blog, boy! That's actually really cool. It looks like Ren and Stimpy, almost. Posting unsubstantiated lies on message boards, calling people fags and fart and shit! Do you- Man, Grand Theft Auto is so crass. Chatting with underage girls with large hairy hands and Adam- <laughs> What is happening in the world? Anyway- That's really cool that they made a show- Like, Grand Theft Auto always had the fake radio DJs, which were hilarious. Now they've legit made fake TV shows. That, I, like that that's cool that's totally cool Come on, I was kidding the clubs fell apart without you so that bank robbery on the news could have been an opportunity for some positive PR fuck that shit I don't need any press like that no. all right whatever blah 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 let's change our clothes change our outfits uh, what else we got what else we got? What else we got? Yeah. One day I have to play Grand Theft Auto 5. I've heard so many good things and I've seen good things. You believe it, I've never played it. I guess this is the most formal clothes we've got, so we'll wear this. Um, now... I'm just guessing that we're supposed to, like, leave now? I don't really know. All right, let's find a cool car to steal. A lot of vans out here. Taxi vans. You've just received a text message. Okay, what does this say? Oh, there's a big biker guy approaching me. Hold on. Are you fucking blind? Can we fight this guy? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Push him into traffic. We're beating up Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, come on. Get him. Oh, he's beating me up, man. People in their cars are like, what the hell is happening here? Oh, hit him. Hit him, man. Help me. He's just a couple punches away. All right. There we go. Taught that civilian a lesson. <laughs> There's a cop, like, right over here. Let's, uh, get out of here in a not-so-suspicious not way. 
Well, that car hit the cop. Wonder if they're gonna arrest him. Me! What did I do? Oh, I got arrested. I think they ran over the guy in the intersection. <laughs> oh, man. I've always liked Grand Theft Auto games, but truthfully, I think the reason I didn't keep up with them is like after you play a couple of them, they're repetitive in the sense of this open world is pretty cool, but all there really is to do is like steal cars and run people over. The fact, like, oh god, I'm gonna get arrested right away. Nothing happened, cops. Let's go back to eating your donuts. Whoa, god, excuse me, civilians. I gotta escape the blue circle so that they can't find me. Um, but yeah, the only thing to do is sort of, like, drive around the city, which is cool. Like, for a city driving simulator, Grand Theft Auto is, like, up there is one of the best, if not the best. But, um, it's like, I just, I, they do such a good job making the city look and feel real that it kind of makes me want to do other things, like RPG-style things, like talk to people and interact with them and steal from them and, like, you know, just sort of mess with people. Like, I've talked about this many times before, but having some sort of, like, world simulator where you could not just steal cars, but do all sorts of stuff would be really cool. Um, and, you know, I talked about it for years and years, being like, yeah, that'd be cool one day, maybe, but it always kind of seemed a bit like a pipe dream. But honestly, nowadays, I don't know if you guys are familiar with ChatGPT, but it's basically an AI that can, like, almost answer any question. If you made ChatGPT the dungeon master of some game world, and then let people try and do things to NPCs, ChatGPT could probably figure out reasonable things for the NPCs to do back, and you would then have, like, a world simulator. And yeah, okay, ChatGPT is notorious for, like, making some mistakes and stuff, so it's like it wouldn't be perfect, but I mean, like, it would be pretty effing amazing, you know? Because, like, if you do play an RPG with a human dungeon master, you can kind of do whatever you want, the dungeon master will tell you what does or doesn't happen, but imagine being able to do it live in a video game, and chat GPT controlled the NPCs and their reactions and their personalities and stuff like Wow, okay, I just thought of that on the fly here, but I feel like that's the future of gaming guys Somebody's gonna do that and make a billion dollars I'm sure somebody's already working on it actually uh, Anyway, I don't know what's going on here and I don't know some mission is being set up Follow Santo Follow you, buddy. Gonna walk awkwardly close to you. Alright. Uh, but since we didn't watch the cutscene, I don't 100% know if this guy's supposed to know that I'm here. Or... Well, I guess he knows I'm here now. You know what I want to find is that arcade. Where the hell's that? Okay, we're gonna look up a map. Before we quit today, we're gonna go find that arcade, because if Rockstar has made fake DJs, fake TV shows, they had to have made fake minigames to play in this in this world. And I'm pretty sure, if I pause this for a second, yeah, look at that. I have 500 bucks. That's uh, 2,000 quarters, right? Did I do that math correct? <laughs> it's a lot of video games. You know you're a gaming junkie when you're playing a video game, when you want to play a video game in the video game that you're playing. That's, uh, like the inception of gaming. Alright, now this is definitely the shadier club that we're entering now. Oh, it's a biker club. Are they gonna know that we beat up... Grandpa Biker Man? Fights in the LC cages are unarmed and toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh, it's a fight club. Use the crowd to hold opponents. Okay. Well, let's just go fight. Alright, this guy looks like a chef who, uh, wants to kick my butt. Hold LT to lock onto your opponent. Gotta be a way to block. Alright. 
alternate punch. Ooh, there we go, we got him. I didn't even get a chance to do my kick. Tap A as your opponent attacks to dodge, or press B or Y to perform a powerful counter move. Yeah, it was tapping. It's not really doing anything. All right, we're locked on. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, you bastard. How you do it? Oh, there we go. Kick him in the shins. Oh, kick him in the groin. Okay, tapping the A does nothing. Oh, he knocked me out. I didn't even know that uh, I had a life bar. All right, we were killed in the ring. All right, well, we, we beat up one big Japanese guy. Does that count? Uranium Street. Okay. I think we failed that mission. There's a cop car. Why is there so many cops around here? Alright, this <laughs> this is like a trash car. Don't be a hero, man. Don't but we're still gonna take it. Oh my god, the cops saw that? Alright, we're gonna go try a different mission over here. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> oh, that helped me turn. That was not where I wanted to go, but whatever, we'll go with it. Alright, off we go. Yeah, there's a gun I there's a T up here if you guys noticed. I don't know if this is like a safe house or whoa or what. But check it out up here. Whoa, whoa. Oh god. I feel like the driving in Grand Theft Auto has always felt a little floaty in these 3D ones. You guys know what I mean. Like where the top of your car like wobbles a lot. More so than in some other racing games that we've played. We've definitely played, like, racing games vary from, like, arcade, unrealistic ones to all the way to, uh, BOOM! Oh! <laughs> Wait, where did that guy's motorcycle go? Where is he? Oh, there's his motorcycle. <laughs> oh, right in front of a cop station we did that. Cops are like, do you guys see that guy over there? Yeah! There we go. 24-7. Oh, like a 7-Eleven. Okay, what is this over here? Spittin' slides. Pharmacy. What else we got? <laughs> People are like, oh my god! He's driving on the sidewalk! Oh, I think I ran over that guy's face. Copy and print. One thing about these Grand Theft Auto games is definitely they all get demonetized because of the radio. Because there's like real songs. Legless. Pizzeria. Superstar. Wine. Stuff. This is like a cool area. Like if this was real life, I would walk around this area and like check it out. Sauce Star. A restaurant or something. I feel like the um, the arcade is somewhere around here, actually. Oh, is this Cluck and Bell? This is like time to Times Square. Hold on, let's take a second and explore this. There's a lot of cool looking stuff here. Boner? What is that? Like a horror movie? Pizzeria, Me TV Theater, Burger. Okay. Still kind of looking at the stores and stuff. Candy box. So you go. All right. Well, it's kind of cool that this area is actually in the game. The men's room. Gourmet burgers. Mm, 
burgers. Do you love me a burger? Shark. I wonder if that's a reference to Back to the Future 2 when the shark comes out of the screen and attacks Marty McFly. Jaws 3D or something. It's like Jaws 39 now in 3D or whatever it was. Alright, here we are. Whoa! Oh. Is this the arcade? Hey, we totally found it. I didn't even have to look anything up. <laughs> Nobody touched that bike, man. No, you can't help me. Oh, wait, what? You can't go in this. Is this totally just for show? Are you f kidding me? <laughs> no! Excuse me. There's no way in? It must be an Easter egg or something. Oh my god. What a tease. So hold on, they made a whole... They made a whole facade of, a, of an arcade and didn't even bother to program it in. I take it back, this game is terrible, don't play it. <laughs> Let me in! Okay. Well, there ain't nothing here. Well, that is... one of the most disappointing things I've encountered in recent times. Hey, he actually wears a helmet, that's something. Didn't even know he had one. Alright. Let's check out... <laughs> This thing. Oh, there's like sparks from where I like knocked the pipe down. Alright, practice swing. Oh, this is... are we back? What is this? Is this the, the street fight again? It's something totally different. Oh, where the fuck have you been, man? Yeah, I came as soon as I could. I don't pay for as soon as I could! Sleep with half the women in Liberty City, no doubt. What's wrong with you, man? You acting like an asshole. You think I don't know that? You think I like being like this? Then what's wrong, T? I fucked up. Good and proper. I work on Gangwa Nightlife 20 years. I beat everyone. Mayors, rivals, drugs, everyone. And this time, I fucked up! I'm the only man in the history of this town with the hottest gay and straight clubs at the same time, and I'm about to lose everything! What are you talking about, T? I don't know if it's that idiot Evan, or, or the economy, or this fucking cocaine, or the pills, which I am not taking anymore, but this time, I fucked up. Oh. Oh. I've done a deal with the wrong devil, man. I'm such an idiot. Hey, things have been bad before, man. You get us out of it. I fight, you plot, together we get out of it. Sure, but we've never been this fucked before. Hey. Interesting. You saved me, man. Made me. Gay okay, Tony? will always be the king of this town. You are this town. I sold the business to two different people, and they each think they own the lot. Man, we're fucked. So I'll go tell them they gave you the money as a present. If they don't like it, I take them to the special VIP room at the bottom of the West River. <laughs> it's gonna be very crowded in the VIP room. <laughs> These are not nice people, and there's a lot of them. And right now, you and me have to go play nice with one of them so they don't start sending rent a Goomba into the club. Fuck. It's gonna be okay, man. Yeah, whatever. Meanwhile, there's a there's this blogger, this nebbish with an internet connection, bad mouthing me all over town. Do you know this guy? The the celebrinator? Celebr what? I whatever. Come on. All right, who's the girl? There wasn't a girl, man. There's always a girl. <laughs> okay, I don't understand what's going on. We have to go kill some people who. He sold his business to them, and now he's worried he's going to lose his business, so I don't understand exact- I don't understand finance, or the economy, but whatever. All we know is that we're going with Tony to a place, we're going to beat up and or kill some people. Whoa! Hold on, Tony! Um, what happened? Alright, we uh, missed that turn by a bit. The e-brake turns on this... I mean, this car has, like, terrible grip is what I'm, I guess, noticing. Alright, let's go in the Golden Pier. It's shining bright. 
It better be. That's all I can say. Oh! Rock, hey, how are you? There they are, the spick and the fag. Tony, shit, you got burrito breath. You ain't been eating Mexican again, have you? Yo, Rock, you invested in the wrong clubs, man. Maybe split sides is more your vibe. Oh, but a bum. I'm sure I would have found that funny if I spoke spick. Real shame, I'll have to ask my maid to translate for me. Rock, what do you need? I need you to help me get some information out of this union prick who's decided to get an overinflated opinion of himself. These fucking guys, stuck in the 1970s or something. Where is he? He's right down there. Fuck! <laughs> you fucking missed me, you piece of shit. Fucking <laughs> prick. Oh, big man. Yeah, yeah, you fuck, you missed me. I'm going to get down there and go you talk missed. to him. Like you bear. hit him with some balls when I tell you to, huh? You think you can do that for me, Louise? Yeah, I'll give it a try. I feel like Grand Theft Auto games have like a lot of mini games. It's sort of like their thing. Tons of mini games. This is so random. Again, so crass. They're like throwing out like ethnic slurs like it's nothing, swearing. Um. Okay, so we need to hit this guy. Press A to start the back swing. We doing, We're most and then press A when the descending power bar reaches the black mark. Okay. So it's basically Mario Golf. And we're just waiting. A little too far. Bend Try the again. The Whoops, way too early. This is like a terrible plan, by the way, for the mobsters. Eye on the ball. There we go. Get your fucking eye in, Lou. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta go a little higher. You wanna step up? Be my guest. Oh, that's perfect. Right in the face. Tell me who's holding out? There's a guy who works at Libel, the foreman on the Columbus Avenue job. He's the guy holding this up. You got more than that. I know it. Fuck you, all right? Fuck you. There ain't nothing else. All right, this is... Damned if I know. So elaborate. Why did he move the cart? He was more suited to being caddies. Shit. Smoothly does it. Come Making on this now. needlessly Shut complicated, buddy. Can we just beat him with a hammer? You mm. Dominicans is meant to be athletes. You're not gonna wear any tour championships, that's go. for sure. Oh, fuck. You pulled it! No. Uh, okay. Now concentrate. Oh god. I thought they bred you tacos for sports. Uh, so tedious. How much supposed to hit it with you in my ear? There we go. Oh, right, the testicles. You and I both know that ain't it. I hear Jack Duffy with the TWU might be with them. Okay, now fuck off already. Oh, let me see now. Untie me now, asshole. He must like driving that. Yeah, he's doing Where'd one you more. To play golf, Lou. Right here, right now. Needs must, don't. To be honest, I never fancied the game. I find the clothes you have to wear kind of unflattering. Come on, this is solid. You ever swung one of those? Oh god. <laughs> sake. Eye on the ball. Nah, not nearly far enough. I hope you didn't miss on purpose there. Hey. Breathe, Lou. Just a little Remember more. Breathe. There we go. Perfect. Oh, God. There's got to be more than just those two. This is way over your head, Dick Watch. I wonder how hard it would be to actually do this, to, like, hit a ball and, like, precision target a dude. You guys are fucked, okay? The machines are going to be all over your ass. You think that means shit to me? Fuck you. Nope. 
Jeez. Shit! Give me a fucking hand here! Do I have to hit cars live? No, okay. <laughs> We're done with the golf balls. Imagine he was like, come on! We gotta hit some more golf balls! Okay. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Where am I supposed to go here, by the way? Am I leaving? Oh god! My legs! Okay, I'm pretty sure that is not the way that we're supposed to do this. Ah! Mangle you guys with some golf carts. Oh, I think I got another guy. Alright, let's do this. Oh, they killed me. <laughs> I've got like disco music. <laughs> What was I supposed to do there? I'm pretty sure I didn't have a gun. I don't even know. I don't know. Maybe I should have hopped into one of their cars. Then I could have killed them. So I- the only thing I wish is that when you failed a mission, you could just, like, restart at a checkpoint instead of having to, like, restart. Hold on, it says practice swing restart. How do I restart this? Is there a way to do it? Oops. Not that. Guess not. Well, those are the first two opening missions, so... That guy is super skinny. Interesting. Whee! I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I've played so many Grand Theft Auto games on this channel, like... Whoa! Oh! <laughs> we could, in theory, keep going, but... I mean... I don't really have anything new to say about Grand... about... The Battle of Gay Tony here. It, it strikes me, you know, like, as a good Grand Theft Auto game. Um, I guess let's go on, like, a murderous rampage. Oh, God. It's actually pretty awesome. Um, it strikes me as a good Grand Theft Auto game. It has lots of cool mini games. You know, the Rockstar game that I did really, like, play all the way through, the most recent one, was Bully, which I really liked. And Bully, I, I feel like there's a lot of DNA of Bully in here, where... Like, in Grand Theft Auto 3, on the PS2 or whatever, I definitely don't remember there being as many minigames. But this, in Bully, there was tons. Like, there were so many different, like, minigames and little... Different ways of, like, fighting bullies and stuff. It wasn't all just, like, get into a fist fight. There was all sorts of different stuff. And I feel like that's what Grand Theft Auto has become, where it's like mixed in all these interesting mini games, a story, and in interesting ways. So I get that, and I appreciate it. Um, but at the same time, like unless we're gonna sit down for like six hours and play this, it's really hard, I think, to like get too far into it. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, my my thoughts on Battle of Gay Tony seems like a solid game. Um, check it out if you like Grand Theft Auto games, I guess. Oh, God. They've pinned me in. Oh, no. Ah, we got out. Okay, my plan, besides killing everyone on the road, is to try to get a cop car. Gonna see if this is possible. I gotta find a place to do it. We've got to lure the cops out. See if we can get them running after us. Oh, God. Okay, they're really trying to kill us. Go, go, go. And we got it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oh man, this cop car is messed up. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think we like cut some people's heads off there. Okay, how do we turn off the side? I'm missing some of the like siren parts actually. 
Alright, now I wonder if you can actually lose the cops in a cop car. Wow, this thing is fast, actually. We totally did. They're like, he did go on a murderous rampage and steal one of our cars, but... We think he's learned his lesson. Mostly because he drove so far away, we're not sure where he went anymore. Alright, the only other fun thing to do is drive this car into the ground. What do you guys think of the Battle of Gay Tony here? Is it an awesome game? You know what I would love to know is, for those of you who have played it, what made this game awesome and unique and stand out? For me, oh! Whoops. Oh, the car's dead, I think. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can... ...get them... ...to run around. And we'll steal a fresh cop car. Oh! God! No, go, 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 go! Well, there's like a muscle car there! I kinda want that one instead. Alright, we got a cop car. Um... Yeah, for people who've actually played this, like, what made the Ballad of Gay Tony, like, awesome? What made it stand out compared to, uh, other... Oh, we're Austin Powersing it. <sighs> oh, there, we got out. What made it stand out compared to other Grand Theft Auto games? Would love to know. Uh, but yeah, another game in the book, A Thousand Video Games, just play before you die, and... You know, like all Grand Theft Auto games that I think we've played over the years... Solid! I do get a license. Um, and maybe one day I will play Grand Theft Auto 5, or... By the time I get around to Grand Theft Auto, it's gonna be like Grand Theft Auto 10. But maybe then ChatGPT will be running the AI and, uh, the NPCs will be a lot more interesting. It won't just be shells with which to run over. Again, you know, like... I think it's just that I've, I've spent so long playing Grand Theft Auto 2 and Vice City, and like I had my fill of running around streets where it's like largely just sort of facades, you know? Like you can run people over and it's kind of funny, but that's like all you can do. And there's nothing else to really do on the street. The street of Grand Theft Auto is really just getting from A to B. Oh, I fell out of the car. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and I'm walking away from it. I wonder if we can find a muscle car. Oh, that's cool. For parked cars, you have to do a little bit more than uh, in the previous Grand Theft Auto. Oh, there's an ambulance. Sorry, paramedic. I respect what you do. Okay, I actually didn't kill him. Never mind. But I will kill these people. I think one of those people is a cop. Alright. Hey, there's, uh, the Statue of Liberty. That's the thing. Man, this car handles like crap. It's really hard to mow people down when you can barely steer. Whoa! What? Where did that jump come from? Oh, God. He's like, please, please, don't kill me! Look, get out of the effing way! Whoa! I'm really not here to kill anyone, I'm just here to do stunts and impress you all! I'm looking for a muscle car, but has anyone seen one? Weehee! Cops can't stop me, man! Oh god. Alright, well I could do this all day. Guys, it's been fun! Yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon with yet another game from the 1001 video games you must play before you die. Till then, folks. Peace.